What is up guys? I wanted to make a quick video and I titled it, um, Make More Profit Today. So talk about what I'm hoping for is that I can put a little twist on it to, um, to make it easy to understand and easy to apply uh, and maybe put it in terms you haven't heard it in before. Sorry, I just lost uh, internet con uh, connectivity there, but I'm back. Okay, so how to make more profit today. Um, so as you guys may or may not know, there are typically people would refer to there being three profit levers um, in business, any business, right? Three ways to make more profit immediately. Number one would be getting more customers, okay? So very common, get more leads, get more people to sell to. You make more profit as your revenue goes up and your expenses uh, remain relatively the same. Number two is the people that you have, you sell them more times. They make more payments to you. That's called lifetime value, okay? So of the customers that you have, how many times are they paying you or how long are they paying you for, okay? And that's another great way to increase profit your cost of acquisition is $200, right? And they pay you over the course of being a customer with you $400. You are doubling your cost to acquire that customer. Now that doesn't always mean you're making profit because there's expenses related to servicing and fulfilling your service or product, right? But what if they're paying you $1,200, right? You get them to pay you more times because maybe they want to stay with you longer. Maybe you charge them more frequently, whatever it may be. Um, they love your service, they love your product, you're upselling them, they're just paying you more, and that's lifetime value. Um, the easiest way, I believe, to make more profit is to simply just charge your customers more. Nothing else changes. The cost of acquisition, the cost of fulfillment, all of that stuff remains exactly the same. Your expenses, for the most part, you know, whether they're fixed or whatever, they're gonna remain the same as well. So how do you how do you just charge your customers more? And a lot of people are scared to do that. Um, and it's, it's typically what I've realized, the reason that they're scared to do it is because they don't feel like they could simply ask somebody for more money but deliver the same exact product or service. And what I'm telling you is it's all in your head, okay? Um, you can absolutely charge what you feel your product or service is worth regardless of what you've charged historically in the past for it or regardless of what your competition is charging for it, right? It's all about your positioning, how you position yourself to the customer, okay? So when I talk to gym owners, I say, well, what makes you unique? What makes you special? Um, and they, they tell me a lot of things, right? And are they, and I say to them, are you telling this to your client or your lead every time you're sitting down with them to talk about your program? And they say, no, not really, and, and you should be. So as an example, if you position yourself, let's say you are a micro gym and you do boot camp or CrossFit, maybe you offer some personal training, nutrition, all of the above and, about, uh, above and beyond things that a lot of us do, but you're, but you're positioning yourself and you're letting your customer tell you, yeah, that sounds great, but you know, there's a uh, F45 boot camp or something like that. Uh, no offense if there's any F45 people in there, but I don't believe they do accountability and nutrition and in-body scans and all of the stuff that our micro gyms are doing. I don't believe they do that. Um, but you are letting your customer compare you apples to apples to one of these other places. Or let's say there's a big global gym and they offer body pump, you know, 70 times a freaking week. Um, and they're saying, yeah, but that place is only $99 a month and I get all these classes. And you say, well, we do a little bit more. You absolutely can't let that happen. You must establish yourself as a completely different entity than any of those places and position yourself that way. And it will be very easy to for, for you to draw the comparison between what they're saying and who you really are. As an example, if somebody were to sit down with me and I say, hey, look, my program is $69 a week or, you know, $2.99 a month. And they say, yeah, but, you know, there's a place down the road in Orange Theory that's $129 a month um, and I get just as many classes. I'd say, hold up, you know, Mrs. Jones, there's, there's eight different private personal training facilities in our city, in our immediate area. And do you know what those guys charge? And they'll say, no, I don't. Well, they charge anywhere from 80 to $100 an hour. And a lot of the times, uh, and you can say no offense, but a lot of the times, these, these people, they are uh, maybe fresh out of college, they're learning how to become trainers, and 
they haven't really cut their teeth and I've been in the game for a decade now and I've worked with so many people and helped them get amazing transformations, right? And so uh, what you want to, you want to, you want to draw the comparison between working with one of these private trainers is going to cost 80 to a hundred dollars uh, per session, right? And so Mrs. Jones, let's say you do two sessions per week, you're going to be paying let's just say conservatively $175 per week to work with Johnny who is going to help you. I mean, he's going to show you, uh, he's going to show you reps and he's going to show you sets and he's going to do all of these things for you. But at the end of the day, he hasn't been in it for 10 years like I have. Right. And, and he hasn't helped get somebody or hasn't done, you know, almost close to a hundred true transformations, exactly what you're asking me to do for you. And he doesn't have his, you know, certification in nutrition and he doesn't have an in-body scanner and he doesn't have an accountability system with a whole team of coaches. When you come to my gym, you're going to be supported by every single coach here that knows your name. Johnny, he's just going to give you a great workout. He's going to say, Hey, see you next week. Well, what about the other 23 hours of the day? What about the other five days out of the week that he's not meeting with you. Is he in your corner? Mrs. Jones, I'm going to be in your corner. And let me tell you something. I'm not going to charge you $175 a week. I'm going to charge you $69 a week, right? I'm going to charge you half the price and I'm going to get you double results. Does that sound like something that you'd be interested in? Is that fair enough? Right? Does that, does that sound reasonable? And you end with something like that. Uh, and how can she say, no, that's not unreasonable. And you're telling her the truth. See, what you're doing is you're positioning yourself in a completely different way. You're positioning yourself against these private uh, one-on-one coaches or trainers, which do charge that rate. And it doesn't matter how they fulfill their program. Mrs. Jones doesn't care either. She just wants to get this result. She wants a specific result and you are able to deliver it for her at half the price of, of lots of competition in your area. So don't let her put you in the corner of, but yeah, this place over here costs this amount. Mrs. Jones, we're playing two different games here. They're not a transformation center. They're not going to be able to, to get you to where you want to be. They're going to give you workouts, but guess what? That's only one piece of the puzzle, right? So, um, I wanted to go just, I don't want to get too long winded with this, but I wanted to explain to you how it's, how it's very easy to increase your price simply by positioning. When you're in the, the sales meeting or whatever you call them, a discovery session, whatever it may be, you have to control that session and you have to let Mrs. Jones know who you are and, uh, and why you are superior to what she's comparing you to in fact let her educate her that uh you're talking about two separate things you're just talking about two completely separate things right and you just need to make her aware of that and then she can make her decision um after that but sh she will know that she's not going to be driving a mercedes for the price of a Toyota. It's just not going to happen. Now she can go buy a Toyota, but she has to realize that she's not going to get everything that comes with the Mercedes, right? And you are that, but guess what? You're not even charging the same price as any of the Mercedes dealers in town. You're charging half the price, but they get the same car. It's an irresistible offer. How can she say no? So it's very difficult to increase your prices to current members, but what I'd recommend is Decide on what you think is a fair price for your transformation programs, and that's what you sell moving forward, right? And compare yourself to some of these private places that you know are charging double, and just have that conversation with each person that comes in, and you'd be amazed that after you walk them through that, they'd be like, wow, that is really a great deal. Okay, how do I get signed up? You'd be amazed at how many people do that just simply by how you position yourself. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Um, I'm gonna be coming out with live videos, you know, every so often, uh, and then starting, next week on Mondays, guys, every single Monday at 7 p.m. Central Time, I'll put out more posts. I'm going to be doing a live stream where I'm going to be covering a specific topic. You can answer, you know, ask questions, Q&A, all of that stuff. Um, but every single Monday at 7 Central, we're going to be live streaming. So uh, I will see you guys there. Hope you like this. If you do, uh, give it a thumbs up, uh, comment, drop a comment, drop a like, and I will catch you guys tomorrow.